good to see you. It's good to see you. Good morning to all our distinguished viewers. Indeed. Also, let me acknowledge the presence of former member of parliament for the Adenta constituency, a private legal practitioner, and also the senior, one of the senior advisors to Alan Kojo Chemanting, the leader of the Movement for Change. And a former anti-corruption, no, I mean, you're still anti-corruption crusader. So, <laughs> uh, welcome. Good morning to you. Uh, okay. Why do you use for my decide to withdraw? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, Are you implying I'm corrupt now? No, 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 no. no. I mean, that, that, that's why I revised. Once an anti corruption procedure, always, always an anti corruption, an anti -corruption procedure. procedure. Your life demonstrates it. Integrity is important. Good to see you. That, that hasn't changed. Also, uh, welcome. Uh, joining us on Zoom, and, and uh, because he's uh, out of the jurisdiction, a number of you asked of him last week. Lawyer Martin Pebble is a private legal practitioner. He is a leader of one of three individual bond owner groups and the convener of the Kumi Prekulio demonstration. Council, good morning. Welcome. Uh, I will rectify the connection with, at least you've seen him. Lawyer Martin Pebble is joining us. But for the next 45 to one hour, we have all of this conversation on the issues. But... Mr. Blackwell, appreciate you. Uh, and you, 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 you I don't want to say later, but you put a lot of documents on my desk this morning. First of all, this parks and gardens matter that you put out there, the last time you were here, the minister visited that place. And he said, yes, indeed, there's an encroacher. But then again, the person has no political you know, ties. So let's treat it as that. Has this encroacher been arrested? At least, based on what you know. <clears throat> So you are right that as part of the anti-state capture campaign, I listed a number of prime lands, public lands, that have been sold or are being sold. One of those key prime lands I talked about mm -hmm. is the Parks and Gardens lands in cantonments and in Wa. After the expose, mm -hmm. I proceeded to file an urgent question in Parliament, which was duly admitted by the Right Honourable Speaker, who is the sole judge for the admissibility of questions in Parliament. Mm -hmm. Parks and Gardens is a department under the Local Government Ministry. Mm. And so the appropriate minister to come respond to questions about the status of the parks and gardens land is the local government minister. Not the lands minister. Yes. So okay. I directed my question at the lands minister. Hmm. Sorry, the local government minister, pardon me. And the local government minister came to parliament on the 4th of July, 2024. And I have the official report here the hands are uh, here and uh, the question specifically was uh, Mr. Sambukuja to Ablak and Nofton. Mm -hmm. The speaker, I beg to ask the Honorable Minister for Local Government, Decentralization and Rural Development, what the Ministry is doing to protect lands belonging to the Department of Parks and Gardens in Accra and other parts of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, this is because of recent claims by some private developers of having secured title to the Department of parks and gardens lands, particularly within the cantonments area. Mm. In the minister's response, if you pay regard to column 19 of the Hansard, mm -hmm. the minister said, quote, in the particular case of the Department of Parks and Gardens land in cantonments, the recent claimant of the portion of the land indicated that he acquired a title to the land in contention, but could not produce same after he took the matter to court. I see. The court subsequently dismissed the case and requested the plaintiff to re-enter the case with the proper documentation. The speaker, our checks, however, revealed that the claimant did not have any valid documentation to the land. I wish to state that the land in question has a valid certificate of allocation dated 2nd October 1952, 
to the Department of Parks and Gardens. Mr. Speaker, the Land Use and Spatial Planning Authority, LUSPA, had in 2022 cautioned the general public to stay away from the use of the land for any private development purposes. Pursuant to the Land Use and Spatial Planning Act 2016 and its regulations, as well as the Local Governance Act, mm -hmm. the usage of green belts, gardens, and parks cannot be altered except through Parliament. In this regard, the Ministry is working closely with LUSPA to ensure that all the developers and citizenry adhere to the planning and development permitting processes under the purview of the Metropolitan Municipal and District Assemblies. Mm. Unquote. So this was the local government minister's response, stating clearly, and in my follow-up questions when you go through the hands mm -hmm. I asked the minister, are you aware that this private developer has placed two containers on the site, is driving away the, the staff of the Parks and Gardens Department, mm -hmm. and has threatened to commence construction of whatever he's coming to put up there. I mean, yeah. the concrete jungle continues. I mean, the only horticultural zone, even the colonialists, who we say they came to rape and plunder and mm -hmm. loot, even the colonialists, as far back as 1952, knew that we would need a horticultural zone. We would need a green space for our well-being, for the quality of our life so that we can have you know, a good ecosystem yes. for survival, even the colonialists. And it has been preserved since 1952. So mm. how on earth does a private developer gather so much courage, the effrontery, staff of parks and gardens go to work, and they suddenly find these containers, and they are told that they have to prepare to move out, that the place has been sold. Now, interestingly, the local government minister promised us in parliament that in a few days, he will go move out those containers from there. Mm -hmm. I followed up on a field inspection, and I confirmed that the local government minister has done exactly that. And indeed, mm -hmm. I issued a public statement commending the local government minister, the Honorable Martin E.J. Yes. And to be very, very honest with you, he is one of the ministers in this government I have enormous respect for. In this state capture matter, all the investigations I have done, mm -hmm. he has been on the side of the masses of Ghanaians fighting this. But I cannot say same for the Lands Ministry and particularly the Lands Commission. Why Will you that? believe that weeks after, the Lands Minister issues a statement? and is attempting some political equalization, mm -hmm. saying that, oh, you know, the processes for the sale started under NDC. And so what? And so what? If it started under NDC, he was saying 2015, 2016, and so what? Because my checks indicate that if you look at due process, mm -hmm. our LUSPA Act, parliamentary records, that place has not been rezoned. It is still a horticultural zone. So whatever anybody may have started, I don't care when, it, it is clearly some bad elements in the system, mm -hmm. particularly the Lands Commission, who are conspiring with so-called private developers to do this. I was expecting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that instead of a defense of this sale, so-called sale, the shenanigans of this private developer by the Lands Ministry and the Lands Commission, they will rather join forces with the local government ministry and the rest of us, all of us. Mm -hmm. Look, and I can give you several instances. Are you aware that these same parks and gardens, they have land in Wa, the only parks and gardens land in Wa. Mm -hmm. Will you believe that the regional minister discovers that there is an encroachment? Somebody is attempting to build a fuel filling station and tries to stop them. So it's not that. The Lands Commission in Wa writes to the regional minister to back off. It is one of the questions I asked on that day. Mm -hmm. And the local government minister told us categorically that the Wa land is intact and should remain as land for parks and gardens. Let me come to column 22 of this answer. In fact, while you're at it, yeah. let me, let's just hear from the, the minister responding okay. to that question on sure. the floor of Parliament.
take a look. Respective regional lands commissions to take necessary steps to protect all lands belonging to the department. And the speaker, to physically secure these lands, the ministry is taking measures to provide fencing by walling the lands to prevent any encroachment. Mr. Speaker, currently, as a minister, I'm still pursuing the matter and engaging all stakeholders to protect and secure the titles of those lands, especially those that do not have ones. On the particular case of the Department of Parks and Gardens land in Cantumet, the recent claimant to the portion of the land indicated that he acquired a title to the land in contention but could not produce same after he took the matter to court. The court subsequently dismissed the case and requested the plaintiff to re-enter the case with a proper documentation. Mr. Speaker, our checks, however, revealed that the claimant did not have any valid documentation to the land. So if the claimant did not have any valid documentation to the land, how did he have the effrontery to move containers? I drive past that place a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, it's a major road. Yeah. Two containers I saw there. Yes. Yes. On that land. And you say he, they threatened parks and gardens staff not yeah. to come to work. Yeah. And, and, and the person is still walking free. Still walking free with impunity. If you talk to the former local government minister, hmm, they attempted to do some construction there. This so-called private developer. And, and you see, that is why a number of colleagues and I are uh, sponsoring this private member's bill we call the Protection of State Assets Bill. Mm -hmm. The only way to stop this marauding invasion where state capture is taking place on a scale that we have never seen, and we will soon come to the prison's lands, both at the Bosta Institute, mm -hmm. at the uh, Osu uh, Enclave. We still have to talk about the W.E.B. Du Bois, mm -hmm. you know, 50-year transfer. I mean, and all over the country, Kumasi, Ridge, Takrade, Ho, Wa, Boga. You know, it's as though Ghana won't exist mm -hmm. in a few weeks. Everything is being sold with mm -hmm. impunity without recourse to due process. So the Lands Commission, what's your position on this matter? Quickly, and then yes. we'll, we'll run so, up in. So the Lands Commission clearly is complicit. And you see, I have here the sole inquiry's report mm, on the mm. demolition of the Bulgarian embassy. You know it was similar shenanigans yeah. where the Bulgarian embassy, land belonging to the Bulgarian embassy, mm -hmm. is cantonments. People fraudulently, according to the Justice of Oriata Commission, private actors and elements at the Lands Commission fraudulently cancelled the lease of the Bulgarian embassy. I'm not the one saying it this year, if you read this report. Hmm. And will you believe that when you read page 17 of this report, the acting executive secretary of the Lands Commission told the sole inquirer mm -hmm. that, quote, we are having situations where government land is registered as private land. Can you believe that? Government, government land. land is registered as private land. Yes, you see, ideally, before you give a certificate, you have to check all the records of the commission. Unfortunately, sometimes due process are not followed and certificates are issued. Can you believe that? And that is what led to the fraudulent transfer of the Bulgarian Basis land to a gentleman called Jojo Hagan, who government says is now on the run, they cannot find him. Cannot and so they him. cannot find him to pay the compensation. Now there's 5.2 million Ghana cities compensation outstanding Which, for the Bulgarians. And the Bulgarians are running out of, out of patience. And so if and, they can't find him, who will eventually have to bear that burden? Government will eventually, and, that's, no, that, we, and, 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 and that means taxpayers. Don't forget that already, when the properties belonging to the Nigerian High Commission was demolished, we had to pay for it, the Ghanaian taxpayer. So these hoodlums, mm -hmm. this nation wreckers, acting with unpatriotic elements in cahoots with them at the Lands Commission, mm -hmm. create this mess, and then we are made to pay for it. 
Now, you have the sole inquirer mm, in a commission of inquiry discovering that there are unpatriotic elements at the Lands Commission. Mm -hmm. Do you know that as the prison service currently is in court battling to protect the Bosta Institute land, the Lands Commission is giving evidence against the Ghana Prison Service. Can you believe that? The Bosta Institute. Yes. That, that, yes, at, at Roman Ridge. Roman Ridge. At Roman Ridge. They are in a battle of their lives. And I salute the Ghana Prison Service. Because they are all appointees of the president, but they have stood firm. Because they are fighting a very powerful person. The senior advisor to the vice president, Professor Piedu. He says that that land belongs to him. Uh, he bought it in 2005. President Kufour said they should give it to him. The, and it's, it's battling the Ghana prison service. But will you believe that the Lands Commission, mm, instead of aligning with the prison service, I have the court documents here. They have gone to court to say that the Ghana prison service should back off. And there are several of these instances. That is why this week we summoned the Lands Minister at the Assurances Committee. Mm -hmm to come tell us what has happened to the question we filed two and a half years ago hmm. on the need to provide a full list, a comprehensive data on all public lands. If you read Article 257 of our Constitution, Article 257.1 is very clear. It's not ambiguous at all. It says that all public lands in Ghana shall be vested in the president on behalf of and in trust for the people of Ghana. So the lands belong to us. Mm -hmm. The president only holds them in trust on our behalf. Will you believe that virtually three years now, the lands minister says he can provide us that list. So, yes. so, so, so where, I mean, what, what, what land is the president mm, holding in trust for us? So because I, I recall when, when uh, someone Jinapur, appeared before you, it's yeah. your committee, yes. the, the Assurances Committee, which you are chair, mm -hmm. you said that records of all public lands from 1993 yes. to date yes. should be submitted be, to, to the Eighth Parliament before the end of this Eighth yes. Parliament. Yes, so, so that is our, our final is, ruling on the matter, that, to, that before the end of this, because he says that they are struggling, that they have their... And I recall that the first time system. he made this statement that he was going to make public all state lands that had been sold to people because you know when this uh, john will came yes, up yeah. then media started asking questions that if achimota forest has been willed yeah. then which other yes. state land then the politics of it came in and said well i mean look mpp and ndc you all been selling land so he is coming to give the details of the persons who have been buying state lands it's been three years now yeah we yeah. don't have that information. And, and, you so have your a, committee... and you have a lands commission that under, under Article 258, this is their job. It says that there shall be established a lands commission which shall, in coordination with the relevant public agencies and governmental bodies, perform the following functions. On behalf of the government, manage public lands and any lands vested in the president by this constitution or by any other law or any lands vested in the commission. So what are they managing? If you don't have the data, you can't give it to us. Look, I am clear in my mind is that it is not a case of not having data. They don't want to be transparent. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want us to have the data. Because, look, on a daily basis, see the demolitions going on. Mm -hmm. It was on this show that I read the letter the Works and Housing Ministry's chief director wrote to all the occupants of Roman Ridge Flats, the yes. public servants there. You know they are evicting them. They've given them notice to leave. That under the so-called Accra Redevelopment Policy, it has caught up with them. They have to leave. Private developers are taking over. So when they must sell these public lands, mm, when they want to sell them, they, 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 they have the data, they know where they are. They, 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 they move in quickly, evict people, distinguished public servants who are serving this country diligently. They just throw them out. Meanwhile... Mm -hmm. It is for good reason that all of these land banks were acquired. As far back, sometimes, during the colonial era. I see. When would the current right. generation of political leaders also right. acquire land banks for future development? Look, Ghana is not coming to an end. There is, there is no Amagedon where this country probably will be dissolved. I haven't heard about that. So we will need land for hospitals. We will need land for factories to create jobs for the young people of this country. Mm -hmm. We will need more 
bungalows for public servants, for civil servants, for nurses, for doctors, for teachers. And yet the current generation of leaders, this, this current government, is all about selling. When you ask for accountability, where are the public lands? How many have you sold? How many are left? Then you hit a cul de sac. They don't want to give you the list. <laughs> Meanwhile, under the constitution, you are supposed to be managing this on our behalf. So if you say you don't know, you don't have the data, you are struggling to compile that. What are you managing on our behalf? <clears throat> should, you, should you be in that office? Should you remain in that office? I mean, what's going on in this country? Well, see, I... And you see, and these are the, the deliberate, you know, secrecy, uh, uh, shadowy conduct, uh, haziness, opacity. Then it allows for all kinds of, you know, uh, miscreants to play in the dark spaces. And that is what led to the demolition of the Bulgarian Embassy, demolition of properties to the Nigerian High Commission. Parks and gardens is going. Now, do you know? that the parks and gardens land in Wa, the fuel filling station developer says that uh, he, he legitimately acquired the land from Lands Commission. He has gone to court seeking to injunct the local government minister from, if, from, from demolishing the fuel filling station. And you have the Lands Commission supporting the private developer against the local government minister. The, the, the minister for lands actually issued a statement saying that it has been rezoned. I mean, when you know, when the lands minister knows that under the LUSPA Act, you cannot do any rezoning, particularly of our green spaces, without parliamentary approval. So who did that illegal rezoning? So that, this matter never came before parliament? Never. I, I mean, see. So, 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 so look, look, the, 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 the nation records, mm, the state capture, it's on a scale. Look, oh, just walk around. Go to come to me. Go to reach. Bangalows on a daily basis are being demolished. And in their place, all kinds of high-rise, so humongous structures that, that the public servants are dislodged from. Right. Judges are dislodged from. <laughs> they are not even given a quota. I mean, what is happening? Why, why are we doing this to, to this country and to the next generation, the young ones coming after? What would they say? Look at how we read the history of this beautiful history. Oh, 1952, we acquired this for parks and gardens. Oh, uh, uh, 1930 something, this was acquired for forests. Oh, um, uh, 1948, uh, this place was acquired, preserved for horticultural zone. When are we also going to be acquiring and protecting? Preserving for the next generation, land banks for future development. When? See, and, and I, I, I need to move on to the other issue because now, at least on this matter, your committee, the Assurances Committee, has given a deadline to the Minister for land, uh, the Lands and Natural Resources to provide the details of these public lands between 1993 yeah. to date to the eighth parliament before this eighth parliament ends. Mm -hmm. So we have a deadline to work with. If that doesn't happen, we'll know what to do. But, but and, 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 and Alfred, I, I, I need to emphasize that I'm totally disappointed in the president. For what? Because at the end of the day, under Article 257, this is his job. He's the one. He should be accounting to us. You are just a trustee on our behalf. And then you have your ministers at cross purposes, your appointees. A few are trying to salvage what is left. The rest are conspiring with so-called private developers. And, and only God knows, because the kind of power, mm, if you see what has happened to even the judges' bungalows, you, mm, mentioned that. you know, the, the audacity that these so-called private developers have, even when there's an injunction. Do you know that the judicial service ran to court, secured an injunction against demolition of their bungalows? It was defied in 2023, last year. These private developers defied the injunction and went ahead. They must have <laughs> some real backing. So, President Akufuado, why do you sit back? Unless you are complicit. Because, I mean, that's only what can explain what is going on. Because under Article 257 of the Constitution, you are holding these lands in trust on our behalf. And you sit back, we are losing all of this. State capture is on a scale that we have never seen before, and you appear helpless. I, I see. 